What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross, I like games, and today, we need to have a look at the One Piece release schedule, because we've got dates. Now, I don't believe these dates are officially confirmed. As always, we do need to bear that in mind. However, they are coming from distributor listings, which, for games like Digimon in the past, which, bearing in mind, Digimon is also a Bandai game, they have always been right. So, if the distributors I'm looking at always have the right release dates for Digimon, a Bandai game, I think we can all say that we should probably give them the benefit of the doubt when it comes to release dates for One Piece, another Bandai game. Although, again, let's be perfectly clear, until they are put on the website, it is not 100% confirmed. We good? Excellent. So here's what we've got, ladies and gentlemen. We have been waiting for the winter release dates, and it seems to be December the 12th. That is when we are getting the Starter X. All of the Starter X. Now, remember, the pre-release Starter X have been and gone. Now I'm afraid you have to pick them up on the secondary market. Remember they were extremely cool because you had the alternate art leader and all the cards were stamped with pre-release. Not just the leader but all of them even down to the Don cards were stamped with pre-release which is extremely cool. But there are four starter decks which can be picked up. We've got the red Luffy starter deck, the green Kijusa starter deck, the blue Crocodile starter deck and the purple Kaido starter deck. We don't need to talk about this in a huge amount of detail because we've talked about these a bunch. I have done openings of both the Japanese starter decks and the super pre-release starter decks. I'm not sure if I'm going to do openings of the English starter decks because when they were first out in Japan, that was really exciting. And when it was the super pre-release versions, that was really exciting. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not sure if I want to do an opening again of the same decks. I don't know. Hold your, let me know in the comment section. Tell me if you want me to do that. But the point is, those four starter decks are coming. It's been listed as winter for, uh, well, since it first was revealed. And then we heard December from a bunch of people. But the distributor listing we've got says it is coming out on the 2nd of December. Which is slightly later than we'd like, honestly. But it's one of those nothing we can really do about it situations. You see... Generally speaking, mid-November is what we're going for. Look at other card games, look at Pokemon, look at video games. Generally speaking, middle of November. That's when you release stuff. And it, it's not some kind of weird coincidence. Middle of November means you get half of November and all of December to pick up Christmas shoppers. Simple as that. Nothing easier or more complicated than that. It is just that simple. We want to get those shoppers in. So 2nd of December is a little bit late. I can only imagine that they couldn't do it earlier. You know, remember Digimon, they had to delay the release of Booster 1.0. And yet they still did a super pre-sale in mid-November. Because that Christmas shopping period is too good to, to pass up. You've got to try and take advantage of that anytime you can do so. So yeah, that's apparently when it's coming. All the starter decks are coming on that same date. Also on that same date, we are getting Romance Dawn. And I am excited, ladies and gentlemen. I am very excited. I have opened up a Japanese box of the set. I've opened up the Japanese starter decks. I've gone to the super pre-release and opened up those starter decks. I would say that you can't understand the excitement I am feeling for finally being able to sit down and open some English product. But actually, you probably can. Because most of you are in the same boat and have been waiting for as long as I have at this stage. It is going to be amazing. Generally speaking, when stuff comes out on a Friday and I get it from my local game store, generally what I tend to do is wait until the Saturday. I'm not doing that here. I will be up first thing in the morning on Friday the 2nd of December so that I can drive to my local game store to pick up a couple boxes and have that opening up on Friday. I am not waiting till Saturday. I have been waiting too gosh darn long for this. Now at this stage, you know, we, we've seen the set for a while now. 
So we know what the deal is, essentially. We've seen quite a lot of it. We know that there are two secret rares. We know that they are Shanks and Yamato. And we know that there are alternate arts, including Manga Shanks. And Manga Shanks is the money card in this particular set. That is the one that everyone is after. That is by far like the card, so to speak. We know that we are seeing dual color leaders being introduced in the very first set, like the red, green, Monkey de Luffy and Trafalgar Law, and the blue and purple Kaido and Crocodile. Yeah, in the first set, only those pairs of colors have dual color leaders. I don't know. I'm sure you'll figure that one out yourself. My point is... It's something cool that's coming, and that's rather lovely. We're not going to do a big deep dive on the set. We've talked about it a lot on this channel. There's plenty of resources out there about it. The point is, it is coming. It is extremely exciting. And yeah. Oh, I'm excited, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. This is just... I've been waiting so long for this set, as I know a whole bunch of you have been waiting as well. Just the idea that it is finally coming out is just wonderful ladies and gentlemen absolutely wonderful so that's just 12th of december which is very 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 exciting it's crazy exciting and i should mention on the 12th of december we're also getting our first lots of sleeves if that's the kind of thing you're into it's not as exciting as as the cards but the sleeves are coming on the 12th of december as well now moving on from there we are also getting Starter Deck 5. Now, we don't have a proper date listed on the distributor websites. This is currently listed for January. And I'm afraid we don't have a better date than January. All we've got at the moment is January. But this is the One Piece Film Edition. The Film Starter Deck, which is out in Japan. I've done a video about this showing you all of the cards. So again, I'm not intending to go through all of the cards here. Because we don't need to. Because we've already looked at it. But as a nice little quick reminder. The leader here is actually Shanks. It is a purple deck. And the super rares. Because all starter decks have two designated super rares. Are Uta and Douglas Bullet. And they do get the full super rare treatment. And that is rather lovely. So that starter deck is going to be coming out on. Well in January at some point. I wish we had more information about it. We don't have more information about it. I am sorry. But it is coming out in January and that is lovely. Unusual thing, 50 card deck, 1 leader, 10 Don cards, all that good stuff. And then what I don't understand, we do have a proper release date for Starter Deck 6. That is coming out on the 10th of March. How we have the day release for Starter Deck 6 but not Starter Deck 5, no idea. Makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. But yeah, we do have the actual release date of Starter Deck 6. That is the Navy Starter Deck. And that is coming out on the 10th of March. Now, again, we have seen this Starter Deck. This Starter Deck is out over in Japan as it stands at the moment. And it's honestly kind of cool. Now, remember, this is the first place you're going to see any black cards. Your leader is Sakazuki. And again, we have got two designated super rares. They are Smoker and Monkey de Garp. And it's the very first time you'll get your hands on black cards. That is very, very, very cool. So, and remember, as I've said this before, because this does work as a bit of a buyer's guide as well. So all the starter decks have some cards coming as a playset, some cards coming as two offs. What that means, ladies and gentlemen, is that you will have to buy two of each starter deck. If you want to have a playset of every card, you will need to buy two of each starter deck. I am sorry. And then somehow we've actually got a listing for Paramount War, OPO2, the next set coming out. And we've got the listing for that, which is currently listed again for the 10th of March, which shouldn't really surprise anyone at this stage. They do this Digimon do in Digimon, where they release starter decks and sets at the same time. And they're doing it again for One Piece. Do bear in mind that we are seeing the release of starter decks 1 to 4 on the same day as we are seeing the release of OPO1, Romance Dawn. 
So it shouldn't really surprise anyone that this is happening. And I would expect this to happen moving forward, incidentally. I would expect us to see the release of all of this stuff basically at the same time. Because that kind of makes perfect sense. Now, we've not seen the full reveal for OPO2 yet, I'm sorry, but I have shown you a couple of super rares on the channel, like Edward Newgate, who is absolutely huge, and Luffy's another one I showed you. One of the more interesting cards we've seen, as it stands, is the leader Edward Newgate, because it's the first six life leader we've seen, and the first 6,000 power leader we've seen. So that is very, very interesting. We're not going to go into huge detail about this. I'm showing you, you know, as the leaders are revealed, I was showing you those. As the super rares are coming out, I've shown you some of those as well. Oh, Z. Z is another interesting leader we've looked at. That is a dual color black and purple. So that's one that we can get a little bit excited about. As with all of this, as more is revealed, I will obviously... I'll show it to you, ladies and gentlemen. I will show you all the cool, interesting stuff as it is revealed. That's kind of what we do. But we need to hold off on that one a little bit. The set's not out yet. If anyone's wondering, the release date we currently have for that over in Japan is the 28th of October, which is very, very soon. So hopefully I should be showing you the secret rares from this set and, you know, showing you all the super rares, etc. very, very shortly. That is something to get a little bit excited about. What is interesting is, as it stands at the moment, as I record this, there's no other starter decks or sets that have been revealed in Japanese. So as it stands, the last thing we've got a date for is OPO2. And the last thing Japan's got a date for is OPO2. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you need to know. We're getting Starter Deck 1 to 4 and OPO 1 on December the 12th. Starter Deck 5 in January. And Starter Deck 6 and OPO 2 on March the 10th. Put them in your diaries. Get excited. This is sounding fun. But now it's over to you guys. Tell me which of these you're excited for. Tell me what you're buying. Tell me what you're skipping. Go nuts in the comment section. But be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.